Okay, welcome, uh, welcome back, everybody. I believe this will be part. This is part five of electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions. So these are some examples. I'll, I'll give you guys four examples, and um, the first one will be this one. Um, you have an aromatic ring. You have this electron donating group. You have this uh, electron withdrawing groups right here, and you're trying to do a Friedel Crafts. Um, alkylation and at this time you know the best thing to do is pause the video and uh, try to do it on your own and see what product you'll get so just take a few seconds I'll give you guys five seconds if you need to okay um, some of you guys may have drones on products but if you guys were paying attention to my earlier videos if you're doing the Friedel Crafts alkylation or acylation and if you have a NO2 or a strong electron withdrawing group on it it does not work this react this will be considered no reaction so keep that in mind even if you have this electron donating group it doesn't matter if you have this or this present no reaction it does not work at all Next one, next example uh, that we'll be discussing is this example right here. So we have this halogen, this alkyl group, and, um, and this uh, other group, this alcohol type of group here. So those of you who have guessed uh, may have guessed that this this right here would direct the positioning of the incoming group because we're doing the Friedel Crafts acylation and you guys are correct this will direct it to the ortho and para position so the products of this reaction will be it's actually a pretty large structure you have this aromatic ring right okay you have this O right those are your lone pairs right there Let's label them. Uh, let's label it O, M, P. Okay. Well, this ortho position is already occupied by the bromine. You cannot do anything in that position. So you could uh, have the incoming group attached here and here. So one product you'll have is this. You have this weird-looking alkyl group. I'm trying to get fancy. And you'll have in the ortho position this acyl group with this aromatic ring and remember like in the initial uh, like first or second video I showed you um, that at the positions are and it could be any type of alkyl group and in this case I picked this aromatic type of uh, aromatic type of substituent and the second product you'll form will be let's put plus here you form an aromatic ring right you'll have your it's actually in this position and I'll put a pH and that sounds for phenyl which is an aromatic ring and you have this weird looking um, alkyl group there Okay, and then you will have your bromine here, and then you have your O and your H there. And those are the two products you form from this reaction. So now let's look at the third example. Let's write example two here. Okay, let's look at the third example. Okay. Third example. Okay. So, as you can tell, we're, do we're doing a sulfonation type of reaction. We have this um, this weak electron donating group and a weak electron withdrawing group. And if you guys looked at the previous video, the previous part to this topic, I said that if you have a weak electron donating group versus a weak electron withdrawing group, weak electron donating group directs ortho and para. So you form O, oh sorry about that, yeah, O, M, P, O, M, 
P. So those are the two positions that so in this case you'll form uh, three products okay and the three products you form let me zoom in a little bit because it kind of seems a little bit far. there you go the three products don't worry the blurriness will go away you'll have the aromatic ring right like that you have your bromine here right you have in the ortho position you will have this SO3 H group that's one of the products right you have another product again with the SO3 H group in this ortho position because they're not the same right I gave you guys an example earlier that this SO3 H group is in between is in between these two substituents in this case, they're not in between the two substituents, so it does not work. They're not the same molecule. You cannot you cannot twist this molecule in such a way where you'll have this SO3H group in between it, so it's a separate product. And then the third and final product you form from this reaction is where you have the SO3H group in, in the um, in the pair position. So it looks like this. SO3H your bromine right there and there you have it the, these are the three products you form from this sulfonation reaction with these substituents on the aromatic ring now the final example I haven't uh, made it yet but is going to be that's right example 4 Right is going to be this aromatic ring with this this substituent, the CF three. Sorry, uh, my threes are pretty uh, uh, illegible. So CF three, and you have this moderate electron withdrawing group. Now. Let's draw the product of the nitration uh, the nitration H two okay let's H two S O four. Okay. So you have a strong electron withdrawing group, moderate electron withdrawing group, strong directs the position meta position right so O M P this is O M P okay so then the N O2 group is going to be placed in this position in addition it will be placed in this position because again you cannot twist the molecule in such a way where it would uh, where it will form the the first product so let me show you what I mean so it a strong electron withdrawing group directs to the meta positioning. So CF3, you have your ketone here, right? So you have NO2 in this position, right? Plus your second product you'll form will be a NO2 group in this position okay because again you cannot twist this in such a way where you'll have this have this molecule they're two separate products so that's the product of this reaction here right here so uh there you have it. These are. Um, this is going to conclude the topic electrophilic um, aromatic substitution. Yeah, this is going to uh, yeah conclude this 
topic and um, uh, the next video topic I'll be talking about is the reactions that occur at, uh, on the substituents attached to the uh, to the aromatic ring and then after that we'll talk about synthesis problems we'll discuss synthesis problems how you start off with one starting material and form a product uh, given the information you guys already know and the information that is very useful uh, include the five reactions I discussed the halogenation uh, the sulfonation, nitration, Friedel Crafts acylation, Friedel Crafts alkylation, the rules I told you about electron donating groups and the electron withdrawing groups, which one directs where, um, and it just in general having being a little bit confident with the with the material and just you know relaxing, and uh, we'll be able to tackle synthesis problems. So uh, there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed, uh, and. Uh, enjoyed and learned a lot from these videos and feel free to leave a comment or a request for other material and I'll be happy to do so make another video on different topics thank you and I hope you guys have a wonderful day